friends! Today I am back again with another What We Are Reading video, but today my book selection is what we will be reading in the upcoming Easter season. These are books that we will filter into our morning time. Um, little picture books we'll just keep for the um, younger ones to be engaged in our lessons in the morning and some family read alouds. I keep a basket here in the living room and I switch them out, rotate the grouping of books out every season, holiday, um, just a little group of books to keep to the side of the sofa that we'll have access to for um, evening reading time or to go along with our lessons throughout the day. So let's jump right in. first couple ones I have here are some smaller younger age group books some board books and some little golden books uh, this one is a new one for us this year Humphrey's first Palm Sunday this one looks really sweet we'll read this one together as a family about a camel named Humphrey and he feels like he should be the leader of the caravan um, and then at the end you find out how he feels at the end of the book when he realizes that he helped with um, a very important thing years before. The story of Easter. Just a short little board book for the younger ones. Happy Easter Mouse. We have all of these mouse books. I think we have all of them for all the major holidays. These were a gift from my mother-in-law when Easton was a baby. So we've kept these and loved them throughout the years. We have another story of Easter. This is a little golden book. This is a new one also, the Golden Egg Book. Some of these I found on a reading list online. I can't remember what the website was, but I, I try to remember to link it down below. I found some good suggestions on there. I've never read through this one either, so this is a new one for us this year. All right, and then we have kind of just some Silly fun ones. Money, money, honey, bunny. I need to make sure I was saying that in the right order. This one's really cute. We've had this one for a few years. It's about this little bunny and she saves up her money and then spends some on all her family and friends and still has some left at the end that she saved. So, a good little bunny. <laughs> it's a cute one. It's not easy being a bunny. if I have actually ever read through this one. It's cute. The Berenstein Bears and the Easter Story. This is one we read every year. And if you've, if you've watched any of my other book videos, you'll know that I love the Berenstein Bears. And I think I have one for every, at least one or two for every season. They're just a great series with um, very good morals and values. God gave us Easter. These are really sweet as well. Really pretty pictures in here. Easter by Gail Gibbons. Yeah. 
the donkey that no one could ride. This is a new one also. We haven't read this one yet. This is new this year. Some of these I just picked up at Thrift Books. Used ones we didn't have yet. A lot of these I did have. Some of them are new. This is a new one. It's a cute little donkey. Fun. Looking forward to reading that one. Bunny's Book Club. And these really are in no particular order. Just kind of have them all in the basket and kind of size order. This one has really pretty pictures in it. The illustrations are very pretty. This one's cute. We've had this one for a few years also. It's a cute one. Marshmallow. This one's new also. Marshmallow is a little baby rabbit. She moves it into a little cat's home and the cat's name is Oliver. I think Oliver is not very welcoming at first to Marshmallow. He's not nice. But I think they become friends. Simon and the Easter Miracle. This one's new. We haven't read this one yet. These pictures are pretty also. The donkey who carried a king. This one is really, really good. Had this one for a few years as well. Baby the donkey feels like he's not special. He feels like he's never been chosen to do anything special. And then he finds himself one day carrying the king. And then he saw what the king had to carry and it changed his whole outlook on everything. special one. The Easter story for children. This one's new as well. We have the Christmas story for children and I honestly did not know there was an Easter story but I found this one on the book list I was referring to and I ordered it because the Christmas story for children is just so good. The pictures are so beautiful and Max Lucado is one of the authors of this and anything by Max Lucado so it's another one I'm looking forward to reading through and then the last one I believe I have in our basket right now is Easter stories and this is a thick book and this says classic tales for the holy season and some of the authors C.S. Lewis, Leo Tolstoy, Oscar Wilde, Elizabeth Gouge, Selma Lagerlof, couple others down there. I'm not too familiar with many of them, of course C.S. Lewis, um, but yes, I've read only one in here and these are um, like more like read aloud stories. I don't think that any of my kids will be picking this up and looking through it on their own like they made the picture books, but I mainly picked this up because I felt like it would be good in the evening time for some family read aloud times. I'm looking forward to that one as well. Easter stories. So that's what I have in our basket right now for the Easter season. Um, they weren't all relating to Easter, but some of them were relating to bunnies and, and things that go along with the Easter season as well. Um, so yes, I hope everyone is well and you are looking forward to the upcoming Easter season. So thanks for watching if you've been here the whole time. If you've read any of these, let me know down below. If you have any other great suggestions, let me know as well. I am always love to check out new picture books, read aloud books. So any suggestions are gladly welcomed. We'll talk soon.